It's that time of year again, another Sephora savings event. So that means what is in my wish list? What do I want to pick up? What do I need to repurchase? And do I need to reconsider anything that I have recommended? Hi guys, thank you for joining me today. My name is Ara. I am a 39 year old mother of five beauty and fitness lover. I am going to be going over what I am truly interested in picking up with this Sephora savings event. I am a Rouge member. If you are Rouge, you earn 20%. You probably already know that. If you are VIB, it is 10%. Oh, excuse me, 15%. I always get that mixed up and insiders get 10%. I will have listed on the screen what, what rank starts when, and I'm pretty sure they are starting VIP and Rouge the same time. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. So, I have a couple things in front of me that I already know that I need backups of, and that is important to me because when I love something so much, I go through it and I need to repurchase it just for my own sake. So I'm gonna do that first, and then after that, I'm gonna go through my wish list, what's in my cart right now. And I'm gonna be honest, I need to downsize. My cart currently has over $1,000 worth of items in it, and I can hear my husband panicking at the moment. <laughs> I earn my own money, I do not spend my husband's. I will say, while I have too much in my cart that I need to downsize, it's not going anywhere. Do not feel like you need to rush and buy everything. The sale happens twice a year and quite frankly, I mean, there's really no reason to play on the FOMO. There really isn't. Things, if they go out of stock, they go to stock. Maybe it's not meant to be and if it's not there and I, I truly wanted it, at some point I'm gonna forget about it. Who cares, I've got plenty. There's always something new coming up and there's always going to be the next hottest thing that everybody wants. So these things are kind of fleeting and honestly, they're not worth getting upset over. So if I can't get it, I can't get it. I want to just limit myself to things that I know I will make use of. When I did my declutter, I got rid of so much and realized what I like versus what I don't like, what I wanna hang on to, what I don't wanna hang on to, formulas that work for me versus formulas that don't. So I need to be very careful from now on. And as I go through my shopping cart, I realize what really speaks to me, what I feel like I can do without versus what I truly do not want to let go of. So we're gonna kind of go through that cart together and help me be more conscientious of what I'm spending. I tend to be far more organized in my daily life, having everything in front of me that's in its own rightful space. But when you look at my wish list, it is a hodgepodge and I never go back through it and delete things. <laughs> I am kind of lazy in that regard. When I buy something, it still sits there in my wish list. I definitely need to clean it out and just kind of downsize and not have to scroll through it so much. I think one of my pet peeves is disorganization. When I see something that I like on someone else's videos and I'm interested in it, I scroll, I scroll, scroll through their descriptions and if it's not organized, I'm already slightly put off. That's not to say I'm put off by their content, just I don't wanna do the work of organizing it in my mind to how I need it to find what I want. So I try to be very careful to make sure everything in my description box is organized to make it easier for my viewers because that's what I want. My makeup look today consists of both the Natasha Denona High Glam Natural, no, oh my gosh, Natasha Denona Hyper Natural Face Palette and the Xenon Palette. I took a little bit from both of these to create this look, love it. I do not care that it's meant for natural. I'm gonna use makeup the way I wanna use makeup. That makes me happy. I'm also wearing the new Rare Beauty Soft Pinch what is this one? The Luminous Powder Blush. I picked mine up in the shade Cheer. I don't think I'll be picking up any more shades. The shade is, and let me disclose, I'm wearing the Danessa Myricks It Girl Blush underneath, so I use this as a blush topper in this video. I'm not wearing this on its own. The shade doesn't have enough base pigment for me to really truly enjoy it. 
I do think it's nice as a blush topper. I don't have a lot of texture on my skin, so it doesn't really it doesn't really matter to me in that regard. We're not emphasizing a, a whole lot for me, even at the age of 39. I am blessed in that regard. I do think there are better blush toppers that do not emphasize nearly as much texture as this one does. So no, I won't be picking up any others. I truly thought I'd pick up Happy, but after I used this and realized it's too highlighty and it will work as a topper highlight like combo, eh, it's not really my style. So I'm not sure how often I'll reach for it, but I'll make use of it. I did declutter one of my Rare Beauty highlighters it didn't really work for me. I think this one might actually work better just because I can use it as a duo. The lipstick I'm wearing is my Westman Atelier. This is the shade LFG. It is a very hot pink. The component is absolutely adorable. I love the embossing on the bullet. I paired this with my Hourglass number no. seven. Actually, the shade is number no. seven in sight, but I wanted to wear more of a red with this pink to kind of help Give it more of that red leaning pinkish tone. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. Since the Sephora app is down, I'm gonna kind of go through this by memory because there's not a whole lot that I need to repurchase. I'm gonna start off with hair care. I'm gonna be repurchasing the Moroccan oil. I love the Moroccan oil for my hair. I use that every time I wash my hair. I'll put it in my hair before I go to bed and then put my bonnet on just to kind of help give my hair a little bit of moisture throughout the night to keep it from drying out. I've used that Moroccan oil for years and years and years and I've tried a couple others but that one's still my favorite. And when you've got hair this long, I mean, you tend to just find what you like and stick with it. I'm out of my deep conditioning hair mask. I was using the Moroccan oil hair mask. I've gone through a couple other different brands and I, off the top of my head, cannot remember the last one I used because I've been out for about a month. I'm not gonna pick up another Moroccan oil. I think this time I'm gonna use Kerastase. There's one in my cart right now that I can't even look at because the app is down. I have been so intrigued by it. It's for long, thin, or rather fine hair because I wouldn't say my hair is thin. I would definitely say it's more fine and prone to breakage. So I'm gonna try Kerastase and see how that works for my hair. I do have the Kerastase scalp treatment that I put in my hair. I don't use, not in my hair, but on my scalp. I don't use it every single night. I tend to use it more three to four times a week. And that's been helping with some of my dry skin in my scalp. I'm gonna pick up one more Olaplex dry shampoo. I did pick up one last fall when it was on sale and then when they sent it to me, it was already broken. <laughs> I couldn't even use it and I kept telling myself I need to send it back and request a new one. Never did, it's just been sitting there broken. I need a new dry shampoo and I do like the Olaplex. For skincare, I am out of my Tatcha Dewey skincare, the moisturizer, I'm gonna replace that. I need my dewy moisturizer. I only use it at night. I do not use it under my makeup. It is too thick to wear under my makeup. I have seriously dry skin and I still need something at night to kind of help protect that skin barrier. Right now I've been using my Danessa Myricks. Oh my gosh, you guys, the Moisture Repair Balm Serum. I love this. I love the Tatcha Dewy Skin Moisturizer. I have gone through so much of this. I will be buying a backup of this because this is not gonna last me much longer. I use this one every single night. Every single night. I have also used it many times under my makeup. I really love this on my lips and under my, my chin and on my neck because I feel like my neck is definitely starting to get pretty thin and it feels so dry in the morning. So this is helping protect that. So I'm getting another Danessa Myricks period. I need that girl. I do. <laughs> I also need to pick up one of the Tatcha water cream, the water cream. I haven't had that in a while. I do like using that under my makeup. However, with the Danessa Myricks balm, I'm not really sure I need that as much, but I think it'll work well in the summer. I'm not sure how the balm will work in the summer under my makeup. It might be too much moisture. 
So I do like the water serum or water moisturizer under my makeup for summer. If you don't already know about Sephora brushes, I've got two of them here. I've got the number 80 and the number 50. I love the number 50 for both bronzer and blush. I think for blush, it's a little he it's a little large, heavy, <laughs> large. I definitely want to find one shaped just like this, but s slightly smaller. It's got the tapered, tapered point, and it's also pinched on the sides. This is a beautiful shaped brush for bronzer. And I just want one that's smaller for blush. I've also got the number 80. This is called the bronzer brush, but I use it for all over powder. It's too large for me for, for bronzer. I don't like being this hmm, kind of like overwhelming with my bronzer, but I love using this brush for powder. So the Sephora brushes do not sleep on them. They are incredible quality. The handles alone are very professional, very beautiful, and luxe. I say luxe like luxe. They're weighty, they're not too heavy, they don't hurt in the hand. And honestly, the shape of them, it's not cheap, it's not, like, I, there's they're nice brushes. Don't sleep on these, br these brushes. I don't own any eye brushes. Somebody recommended eye brushes and listed off several good ones. I'm gonna go back through that chat from the live that Martina and Blair had and find them. And as far as restocks go, Sephora's Powder Puff is actually one of my favorites. They restocked it. I don't have it yet. I don't know if it's the exact same or if it's slightly different. I love this Powder Puff and it's arguably better priced than many of the ones that you can buy through other retailers in high quality. So this thing has stood up in my washing machine and dryer. It is dual sided. Totally worth it, a wonderful investment. I love my little powder puff for pressing in my makeup. So this one, I'll be getting another one, maybe even two of those. I am gonna get a new Benefit Brow Gel. Um, that one I think I have used the most and it's my favorite. I don't think I will be getting or trying a different brand. I'm just gonna stick to the Benefit Brow Gel. Pencil wise, I do need to pick up another Urban Decay pencil. The Cool Cookie is the shade I use, so I'll be picking up another one of those. There still hasn't been any others that I've picked up that I like more than those two. For primer, you already know, I'm going to be picking up another Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. That one is nearly empty on me. I won't be picking up another Tarte Smoothless Primer or Smoothing Primer just because I still, I still have plenty left. So I'm gonna pick up the Tarte another time, maybe in the fall when they do another sale. But then I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't do that because I tend to use it more for the summer. <laughs> Who knows? I will be picking up another Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I am about two thirds of the way through this bottle. I know I'll finish this off well before the next sale, so I'm gonna be picking that up. So I'm gonna go through with you everything that's in my shopping cart. Right now I am at $1,038. You're gonna help me bring that down to a reasonable price. So starting off with the very first item in my cart, I am looking at the Milk Makeup Cloud Glow Priming Foam with Brightening Turmeric. Turmeric? <laughs> I definitely am picking this up. Hear me out here. One, I love a glowy primer. Two, I am beyond intrigued, like to a point that I can't describe about a foam, like a priming foam. I, I've never even heard of that. I don't know any brand that has a priming foam. So this, to me, just one, it caught me with the brightening, two, the turmeric, but the priming foam is what I can't let go of. So I'm gonna do that. I am definitely gonna get it. It's right now $28 prior to discount, it stays. The second one in my cart is the Dior Forever, of course, Glow Star Filter. I mentioned earlier that is not going anywhere. I don't need it. I definitely want it. I do not need it, I want it. It's a want, not a need. I am not taking it out of my cart. You, you can't pry it out of my hands. <laughs> It stays. I'm sorry. 
The third one, oh, actually, let me go back to this. The reason I want the Dior primer is because I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury. And I'm, I have no intentions of buying the Charlotte Tilbury, but this, I have a huge obsession, like a love affair for Dior beauty products. Not their quads or quints, but definitely this. So, I mm, can't help it, I'm sorry. Shade zero in. Moving forward, the next item in my list is the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Mattifying Water Powder Serum with Niacinamide and Hyaluronic Acid. These names are getting ridiculously long. I'm getting tongue-tied trying to say them. This one's $36 prior to discount. I'm going to go ahead and pass on that one. And the reason for that is because I do really love my serum balm. And I've got other mattifying primers that work for me. So this one, I am removing. Remove. <laughs> We're down one. The Elemis Pro Collagen Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. Makeup by Spencer loves this. I have watched him enough times. He loves this cleansing balm. I am out of my cleansing balm. I've used the Good Molecules Cleansing Balm. I've got the e.l.f. cleansing balm. I didn't like that one as much. The e.l.f. one did not work for me the way I wanted it to. Ooh, but the Elemis cleansing balm is $40. And that's where I kind of have a hang up. There is no reason to ever spend $40 on a cleansing balm. But here's where I'm on the fence. Makeup by Spencer is a genius, and I will link his channel to, in the description box. He's a genius when it comes to makeup. I really, really love when a professional makeup artist truly recommends something, and they're always using it on their clients, and you, you see that, you know, this is something they genuinely believe in. So I'm hung up on this one. I'm going to leave it for now. I'll come back to it. Next, we have the Dior... 840. This is the lipstick I mentioned earlier. Rayonante. It is an orange bricky red. Let me see if I can pull up. You know what? I'll put it on the screen somewhere here. I I love that Dior does unique shades. They do shades that no other brand wants to do except for indie brands. As far as a luxury brand goes, they push the envelope. They're not afraid to experiment. And I love vibrant lip colors. I think, yes, nudes have their place and you definitely, everybody should have their perfect nude in their collection. But there's something about being able to stand out in the crowd with a bold, vibrant lip color. Wear it with a bold eye look if you want. Who cares? As long as you're happy. I love bold lips. And when you can do something unique, now I went on a freaking lipstick binge and like just bought way too many after I said I would not be buying more lipsticks because I have so many I need to get through. And I fell in love with the Dior formula, the Velvet Matte. Oh my goodness. Okay, so maybe for the sake of just being careful, I'll remove this one. So yes, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the Dior lipstick because I already have four others. Liquid blush. Now, Mm. I have two of the Rare Beauty Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes. The one in my cart right now is the shade Happy. I've got, I've got a beautiful shade for fall, and I've got the red, and that red is killer. It is just so vibrant, and I there's so much product in there. I really think I don't need a third one. And I have so many other blushes to get through. The Rare Beauty is a great price tag. The blush is amazing if you like liquid blushes, but as much as I enjoy them, I don't think it's necessary for me to pick up a third liquid blush right now, especially when I lean more towards powder blushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my loves and remove it from my cart. <laughs> so far, so good. Down to $930. <laughs> We're getting somewhere. The Danessa Myricks Groundwork Defining Neutrals. I never picked it up on the first go around. So when it originally launched, 
a lot of my favorite YouTubers picked it up and reviewed it. I genuinely looked at it as something I would not use daily. And then these people that I admire, that I enjoy watching, are using this regularly and enjoying it and really, really, really impressed me because if you can take a palette and do your entire face with it, or almost your entire face, that says a lot. Danessa Myricks, she is very creative and innovative, innovative <laughs> and inclusive. I was not originally gonna pick it up and the reasons for that is because I don't tend to gravitate towards a one and done palette for the entire face. I enjoy sitting down and grabbing multiple different things and just having a whole play session. It's like art for me. So I held off the first time and I really think I should go ahead and hold off this time around, especially because I'm more intrigued by the Blooming palette. While I think this one would have its place, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one and limit myself to just one of these palettes. So I'm gonna remove the Defining Neutrals. While we're talking about it, let me just get this out of the way. So I've got the $20 gift card from Beautylish. I was originally thinking maybe I'll buy the Blooming Romance, Romance with that $20 gift card, but maybe I'll save that because I love buying brushes from Beautylish and items I can't get from Sephora. So the Blooming Romance palette, also $65, same as the Defining Neutrals. This one, I think I'd have more fun with. Yeah, you can do blush with it, eyeshadow with it, lips if you want to. Eh, probably won't do lips. I haven't seen the best reviews about the lips. And I saw someone mention you can't do brows with it. Well, girl, watch me do brows because for reasons, I just want to give it a shot. I don't think it would be the most natural or flattering, but because I saw that comment, I wanna take this palette and do my brows. <laughs> so the Groundwork Blooming Romance, if it were just like the first neutrals palette, I think for the same reasons I mentioned previously, I would just pass on that and just keep it moving. There's so many other things, but this, oh, so the pictures don't do the reviews justice. Like the pictures look way more muted, way more toned down. The reviews, they look way more vibrant. I have thoroughly enjoyed watching the reviews that some of my favorite content creators have uploaded. That's what got me. That is what truly got me. And then, oh, who was it? Julia Adams did her review. Oh my gosh. The talent of her alone, first of all, I wish I had that, but two, I think that was the video that sold me on this palette. So I am gonna go ahead and stick with, and I, I'm sorry if I keep wagging my finger. <laughs> I am gonna go ahead and stick with the Blooming Romance palette. So that one stays. Tom Ford, the new Soleil I Quad Emerald Dusk. Okay, I, mm, limited edition, and I'm trying to get out of the limited edition FOMO I think it is toxic to our health, mentally, financially. <laughs> I don't enjoy it and I'm, I'm desperately going to work on trying to keep myself from falling into that trap. I think it's a new tactic for retailers and for brands to try to rope people in there. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm gonna try to avoid it. I've seen quite a bit of reviews on this. I think this one I'm gonna remove and hear me out. I've got one of the palettes that has the mint shade in it. I know they're, they're, they're not the exact same. The reviews have been comparing this palette to that older palette and for the fact that it's $90 and I would like to be reasonable with my purchases, I'm gonna remove this one. I do love Tom Ford. Most of the people who've reviewed this so far have said the quality of the shadows is top tier. This is not one of his duds, but I'm removing it. I simply have so many of his quads that I really love, and I might actually come back to this a little bit later. Not getting it on sale, yeah, that sucks because I'd be saving $18, but I'm not in a hurry. 
I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything if I don't buy this. And if I look at it as, am I going to miss out on it? Do I feel like I'm missing something I truly want or will regret? If I look at it like that, I feel like I do better. So I am going to remove the Tom Ford. Remove. <laughs> Next up, I've got the La Mer Soft Fluid Longwear Foundation. Okay, I've got my summer shade in this foundation. I definitely don't need to buy my winter shade. This one, I love the foundation. It is so beautiful. I cannot recommend it enough. It's not in my top three. So for $150, it is an easy pass. <laughs> Next up, I have the Kerastase Nutritive 8-Hour Magic Night Serum Hydrating Treatment for Dry Hair. A mouthful. I told you, these things are coming out with so many long names, I can't handle it. $60 for 3 ounces or 90 mLs. I've got one Kerastase treatment that I already enjoy, so we're removing that one too. I will definitely be giving that a try later on. The Natasha Denona My Dream Lip Crayon. Oh, I am kicking myself because two weeks ago, Natasha Denona had her sale and the lips were... 30 or 35 percent off and I only bought one lip pencil and wish I'd bought two kicking myself for that because I would have got a bigger discount it's a maybe it's a maybe because I have a lot of nude lip liners so maybe maybe baby we'll see eh, actually we'll go ahead and remove it I've got a lot of nude lip liners we'll remove it for now and Natasha Denona does sales not as frequently as I would like but she does them next up we have the Charlotte Tilbury Red Carpet Red Lip Liner. I have been wanting to try a Charlotte Tilbury lip liner. Mm. And I love reds. So the red one is staying. The lip liner from Charlotte stays. I can barely get it on sale anywhere else except for Ulta. So that one stays. <laughs> And another lipstick here, I am a sucker for reds, especially candy apple reds. If it is a vibrant candy apple type of red, ooh, you almost got me there. The Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution, Hollywood Vixen, this one's new, came out about a month-ish or so ago. I'm on the fence with this. I am on the fence with this. I've got Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I love her. The woman knows her lipsticks. But I'm on the fence with this red. Mmm. I'll come back to this one just because when I don't need another lipstick, I already said that, but it's a Charlotte Tilbury Red. The Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Blush. If you know, you know. Fantastic. I'm wearing one today. I'm wearing It Girl. Do not be afraid of that pink blush, especially if you're fair skin. Don't be afraid of it. Oh my gosh. You can tone it down. I even use the Rare Beauty, the new um, highlighted blush. As a topper, don't be afraid of Danessa's products. This is the Rosé and Brunch. Martina loves Rosé and Brunch. I've got three others. Definitely don't need it. And then I missed out last November or December, I think it was, when Danessa was selling her best products of the year for half off. <sighs> Should have got it then. Kicking myself for that one. Rosé and Brunch stays. Martina loves it. I gotta see why in person. It's a neutral. Okay, that one stays. My all-time favorite of favorite Luminous Powder Blushes Hourglass. Okay, hear me out. I've been talking about hourglass blushes and powders, bronzers for so long. I'm on the fence with this one. I've wanted at night for years. Ever since it was first launched, I've wanted at night. It's a bricky red. Mmm. Okay, I... The blushes I love that I have from Hourglass, ooh, it's hard for me to let go of them. I'm thinking maybe if I pick this one up, I need to get rid of something else in my collection to balance it out. But I also don't like being wasteful. I think that's terrible for the environment. Hourglass will do another friends and family sale in the fall. I think it's ridiculous that the VIP is the same as the friends and family, but it's neither here nor there. Okay, that one I'm removing. We will do that in the fall. Next up, I've got the Dry Bar High Topped Self Grip Rollers. I am desperate to add a little curl into my 
fine hair that doesn't like to hold a curl. And I wanna see if I can use these at night. For $12, I think I'll go ahead and keep this and give these a shot. These have pretty decent reviews. It's six rollers, $2 a roller. We're gonna hang on to it for now. We'll come back to it if, if need be. Rare Beauty Weightless Eyeshadow Primer. I don't need another eyeshadow primer. I still have a lot of good eyeshadow primers, some that aren't even close to being emptied yet. Mm, I think I'm gonna pass on that one, I do. This one I will pass on. I need to get through the primers I have and I don't think it's wise for me to pick up another, so Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer, maybe next time. The, oh, this one's in my cart and I used it earlier and decided I would not be picking it up. It is the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blush in the shade Happy. When I used the shade Cheer on my cheeks, I realized it doesn't really do for me what the hourglass blushes do. And I already passed on the hourglass at nightshade that I wanted. I'm gonna pass on this one too. I feel like the hourglass provides me a luminosity that I like that's not over the top. This is too over the top, doesn't have enough base color to it that I wouldn't use it as a topper. So I am removing this happy shade. Oh, excuse me, this happy shade. Remove. Remove the product, oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. We are down to the last item in my cart. Yes, the last item in my cart, currently at $448, Gucci Luminous Matte Beauty Blush Shade Number Two, Tender Apricot. Oh, man, 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 man. Oof. Here's what I'm gonna do. Between the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Vixen lipstick and this Gucci Tender Apricot Blush, I'm gonna keep one, only one. I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop the Hollywood Vixen lipstick and keep the blush. I already have the Gucci blush in one other shade, the baby pink. Oh, that's a beautiful shade. Gucci did that beautiful shade correctly. I don't have the Dior Baby Pink Blush that everyone loves so much, but I do have the Gucci one. That's stunning. So I wanna go ahead and get this one. That'll give me two of these Gucci blushes and it's a coral, peachy coral shades. No, it's more of a peach. Yeah, just a flat peach. So I'm gonna go with this one and keep this one. Ooh. Okay, doing that. Damage said and done. $413. Ooh. Okay. That is still not where I would like for it to be. I would definitely like to see this drop down by another $150. Okay, I'm gonna do something crazy here. It's not crazy, obviously, because makeup's expensive and there's really no reason for it to cost this much. It's just whatever the buyer is willing to pay. I'm dropping the Elemis Cleansing Balm. I'm gonna drop that. I still have other ways to cleanse my face. I don't think this is entirely necessary for me right now. I definitely would try to get in the future, try it in the future. I'm not gonna pick this up. I am gonna remove this. It is not worth me getting right now. I'm gonna keep the Vanessa Myrick Serum Balm. I'll be out before long. That thing has changed the game for me. It is, it, it is like a little miracle for me, I'm never giving that up. She'll have to stop making it before I ever give that up. I'm not. So the cleansing balm from Elemis is gone. And I know I could have given up either the Dior filter or the turmeric. I mean, that may not even work for me. Ooh, the milk makeup glow priming foam. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. I'm at $373. I'm gonna see what else I can drop. I would like to get that down to 200, well, yeah, about less than 300 because I still need to get the Tatcha Liquid Silk Canvas. I need to refresh that. I'm gonna to try to get this down to 300. I'm gonna sleep on it and come back to this another day and really work on what I want versus what I need. I cannot believe it, whoa. I didn't think. <laughs> 
I didn't think this would be as hard as it is. I truly do wish that like I could just buy what I need and not have to be responsible about it, but I don't live in that world. It is what it is. Oh, okay. I'll stop looking at it because it doesn't help. Thank you guys so much for spending your evening with me. I don't even know what to say. I don't want to do a recommendations video because the reality is if you're watching my content, you see what I like versus what I don't like and everything that I've recommended, I've been upfront about. So those are in there. I do have on my shop link uh, a whole category of what I recommend listed there already. Some of my favorite things in that list that I haven't mentioned in this video. I do recommend taking a look at that if you're curious. Can't go wrong. Those are things that I've actually thoroughly enjoyed. Mm, I just don't have the time in this video to present them. And I think it gets kind of redundant if you've been watching them and you see all of that. You don't really need to have it all regurgitated again. Everything that I'm wearing in this video though is linked in the description box down below. If you click on those links, they are affiliated. I do earn a small commission and it goes back into my channel. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. You guys are the best. I have loved this journey. I'm having so much fun. Thank you for coming back every chance you get. You're a huge support and I have enjoyed talking to you. Do something for yourself today. It is so important to take care of you. You deserve to be happy. Bye guys.